Nobody was killed when Solomon compared Jesus' resurrection to the rise of Agege bread. Renu or Mercury, welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. Reno Omokri, a renowned Nigerian author and former aide to the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, has taken this official handle at Reno Omokri to speak about how Christians forgave the managing director of Stellan Bank, Abubaika Salimon, after he apologized for comparing the resurrection of Jesus Christ to the rise of Agege bread. Reno Mokri, while calling for peaceful coexistence, stated that Christians forgave Abu Bakr Sulaiman after he tendered an apology over the provocative advertisement made. He further went on to reveal that they did not stop withdrawing money from the bank and no life was lost following the incident. In his words, see how the body of Christ handled the blasphemy involving the managing director of Sterling Bank, Abu Bakr Sulaiman. With the Agege bread incident, we did not kill or withdraw our monies, but we made our grievances known and apologized. We promoted religious coexistence. Okay, I don't want to believe that this news is new to anyone because I think on Easter Sunday, some users of Stellan Bank said they received a they received a kind of message from Stellan Bank. And the, it was an advertisement saying, like, I gave you bread, he rules. A lot of people took, you know, to social media to address the grievances that this is so, why would he be making use of that, you know? A whole lot of people came out with, you know, this is unacceptable. Some even said, in fact, they should stop making use of the bank. You know, I, after that particular news article, I even told people, yes, no matter how um, annoying this will sound, but Christ did not tell us to fight his battle. The same Christ we, we call on to protect us. The same Christ we call on to have mercy on us, to bless us, to hear our prayers. He's, he is 1,000 times able to defend himself. In fact, the way we are going to show Christ that ah, we are really Christians is if we truly forgive these people. And it happened. Nobody break. In fact, this issue now, if not for... If not for, what am I going to say? Uh, if not for Renu bringing this topic out sincerely, it is, it is gone and forgotten. This shows how Christian, that, that is why in other news I said, the real people who are supposed to be promoting, how am I going to put it? Who is supposed, they're supposed to be calling the religion of peace? It's Christianity. Because in, in the holy book, in the Bible, it is written there if you if you if you are if your neighbor slaps you or your brother slaps you on one cheek, you know, if you turn the other. That if your brother offends you, you should do what you go meet him, you know, and tell him that ah, this thing you did is not right to you know, and if he abuses you, you go with some you know, till one, two, three times. It is also there. It is also there in, in the Bible that you should forgive and pray for those who offend you. <laughs> Pray for your enemies. So to me, the real Christianity of peace here is Christ. Yes, because a whole lot of people are saying, if it is like this, go on, let us even retaliate and all. I'm saying no. Christ, there's nowhere in the Bible that Christ said, oh, if this happens, we should do this. No, it's not, it's not written anywhere in the Bible. And so, real Christians will know that there is nowhere violence represents the body of Christ. So, Reno Mokri, true, true, you correct. People who say the religion of peace should not should stop saying this is the religion of peace. Rather, they should prove it that it is really a religion of peace. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.